<laughs> oh, and welcome back to Rim World. It's been a couple days, and I've been busy in the background. Always busy, always busy. Working hard, and I know I always say this, but I was moving, so I wasn't able to spend money on things like a new computer because I was busy spending money on moving. So, now that I've moved, I can spend money on a new computer. So I've been working extra hard to get that going so that there can be some cool new series as the only thing holding me back right now is the lack of good computer. My PC at the moment surprisingly can run the software that I use to record and all of this stuff. And as I promised myself, if I could make it to 1000 subs with this piece of shit rig I have, then I definitely can do better with a better one. So. That is the current, the current goal, and that's why I've been busy in the background. If you don't see videos, don't worry. There will be plenty of more. Um, let's get rid of this here, um, this box. We can deconstruct that box now. We have some cows here, and they're producing milk. So they produce 14 times milk here. Let's have this guy. What is he doing? He's milking the cow. She is preggers, right? Or did she... She was pregnant, right? Okay, it says right here. I thought it would say it right here, but she, she doesn't have it. So, no, go back and grab that damn milk and haul it. They, they should... I wish... Uh, there is a mod probably that allows you to grab things straight away. Like, when you pull them from the field, they should automatically harvest it. But we need to get a better area going over here. I had said storage. I think that I'd like to just have fields. Tons of fields. Tons of fields. And, of course... My cat had to leave the room as soon as I started recording. <laughs> he likes to just, uh, you know, smash the door with his head. Regardless, we have a lot to do. We're still finishing up these rooms. I spent a long time... I don't remember RimWorld taking so long in the past, but I think it's because, like I said, I'm doing a cannibal run. Somebody did comment that every single person does a cannibal run. I didn't know that. Apparently, every YouTuber who's ever existed on the Earth has done a cannibal run. And I'm late to the game, so, yeah. kind of sucks, you know? And I'm obviously being sarcastic. I, I don't give a shit if people have done this before. I've never played as cannibals in RimWorld. Ever. Period. That's how I play. I usually play, like, very strict, straight to the point, like, trying to minimize the annoyance of characters, because I like to have, like, a perfectly optimized base. But as this is a game... For a series that I'm playing, I'm not really trying super hard. As you can see, I'm only trying to get the base necessities to set up a better situation for everyone. They're all going to live in here. We're going to have a bunch of things going on here. But my big fear is that living too deep in the caves will have no way to get out if there is a huge hive infestation. And being on Randy Random, he likes to throw that at you. So i got to be careful for the hive infestations. I've also been thinking I really want to expand this area as now that we've put the cows in, we have a limited amount of chickens we can have. Let's see how many. We have 19 total. I think it tells you you can have 21 in a large pen. Ideally, I'd like to have more than 21. But I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to have to start killing any male chickens like this rooster here, 49. But all of these female chicks, I'd rather have 20 of the the females and like one male if that's possible if they can all fit in here so that we can have tons of eggs coming you can see yet nine fertile eggs here as well as 10 unfertile eggs over here and plenty more in this crate over here so that's the goal we need to fix our food situation see it goes it goes down a little bit though because we've got the milk now milk is going to be a really good help as i think milk counts as a protein let's see does it tell you what it is? Not really. Satisfies people though. And there's a very low chance of giving them food poisoning. Or not really low, but decently low. Because I don't know, what does this give you? 2%. I guess that's probably base. What about this one? 2%. Yeah, that's base. Regardless, we're going to get to it. And I will see you guys in a moment.
All right, fuck, we have a mech countdown activator in 2.1 days. These mechanoids will awaken. We gotta fuck them up. So we're gonna send everybody we got right now while they're sleeping. Can't send Keck because he is useless. So here we go. Let's get them all ready. It's gonna be a dangerous one. So we're gonna have to kind of set up from a distance here. We only have five guys to shoot. Zaneda can't shoot. And Keck is obviously down. We gotta take this out. It's now or never for our colony. See what we're made of. Let everyone get into position first. How did Peggy make it here first, Catan? What the heck is wrong with you? Left eye crushed. Manipulation weakened. It's because she's stoned. Are you serious? We might lose this battle because one of our shooters here. Two of our shooters. How many how many of you shooters are high off weed? A lot of you. Bastards. Well, the rifleman, stay back. Wait, you're a shotgunner. Get up there. We're going to have to have them set up in positions ready to retreat. Because these robots are going to come at us fast here. And he can kind of come up. I think these two, Katten, actually, we're going to have her back here with her shotgun. Yeah. This, my, this boy is the fastest. Not the best shot, but he is the fastest. So it appears like we are in range here. That this is slow. All right. Oh god, what did he just hit us with that? What in the fucking beam grazer? A high energy gamma ray laser which fires a sweeping beam that pierces thick armor and burns targets because of the heat health risks. Oh god. Did you just get hit by that thing? Get out of there, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's got a freaking gamma ray. Good lord. Shoot that thing. Oh my god, that thing has a gun too. I thought it didn't have a gun. I thought it had a freaking... He has a charge lance. Oh god. We made a tactical error here. I probably have looked at what they had on them. I'd rather die a hero than live long enough to see myself become the victim of some kind of catastrophe. Let's get up on this. We gotta get up on them. Get cover! Oh my god. Can you get in there? Why? Yeah. Peggy! Yeah! We got him! He's down! Get him! Get him! Get up on him, Ken! Yeah! That's how you do it, brothers. Nobody was injured. Oh, shit! Get back, get back! How far is their gun reach? Oh, it's pretty far. Alright. So, everyone get on the range of it. Which one of you has a rifle? Oh god, we're gonna have to bum rush it. Get up here. Catton is very slow. If we can get through here, though, that will be a flank on it here. Let everybody get in position here. And then have them kind of go like this. Oh, get back, get back, get back, 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 back. All right. Pause. So, Catten, we need her to get up on there. Actually, let's wait. Cancel that order. Go there. Go back. To All right. So, we'll have him go over here. Because we need to get up on it from multiple angles. If we do this wrong, a lot of people can get hurt. I don't know how accurate this thing is. 
It's a mini slugger turret. Accuracy at short range, long range is 10%. What's long range to this thing? I feel like it has a really good shot at taking us out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get my three riflemen. I'm trying to get these three riflemen. No, no, if you need to chill out, brother. I need to get them over here. No, can I? I cannot draft him. No! No! Attack everyone now! Get hand, get on it! Novanav, you bastard, you got him nearly fucking killed, you son of a bitch! Everyone fire on that. Get cover behind these walls. Cover behind that tree there. You fucking bastard, Novanaf. Okay, so they got a bruise on their leg. They have some pretty good cover from this thing here. We're not gonna be able to hit it from this angle here. Theoretically, though, we can avoid it. I think for right now we pull off. Oh, fuck. Get out of here, everyone. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get out of here. We can't beat it. Not not the slugger gun here. We'll have to hit it with something else. Or wait for our boy to open up. No, why are you going back over here, lady? No. Get away. Fucking hate them. They're like, oh, let me go cloud watch in front of the fucking machine gun. How's our dog? I thought we almost lost our dog right there. Where is he? Health. Okay, he's got shot, but he'll be okay. Why are you exhausted, dude? Because you didn't sleep. Because you spent all night smoking weed. Yes! Kek! He's alive! My boy, Kek. Deserves a great human leather shirt. I don't think he has human leather pants on though, so we need to get him a pair. And then... He'll be happy as he can possibly be. Although, is he actually... I don't know if he... He is a cannibal. Our boy, Keck. We finally got the psychic tea. I was stupid and I thought it was under the drug lab. So I went and researched everything other than the thing that is literally right here. Because I didn't think it would be so close to the start. But it makes sense. You can make it in a campfire. And we have some psychic tea for him to drink a couple bits there so we're gonna keep that storage by his room so he has plenty of access here and he's taking off that shitty outfit he had on and he's putting on that leather shirt that beautiful leather shirt and he's got those guinea pig fur pants <laughs> it's pretty funny um, so that will make him pretty happy yep and he's got his psych IT which relieves all his pain so Keck will be back in the mines and he is hard of sight anyway so he doesn't really care too much for the finer of things so hopefully we can get that going let's see where we can mine it looks like we got some stuff to mine right here we'll kind of mine out a little bit more of that there all is well all is well
All right, this may be it, brothers. Look at what they've got. They've sent another mech cluster at us. We've got this little thing here, which has got a mini shotgun. This guy with the charge lance, and then the big one with the needle gun. We've got really nothing. We've got nothing to take this guy out with. So we're going to send everyone we've got right now. We've got kick. We're going to give our best shot here. And if we die, so be it. Everyone is fucking complaining all the time. I'd rather die now than live and see my guys complain one more day. And hopefully our Thrumbro will come and join us. But yeah, we had some cows. We had some horses. A lot of stuff has changed. I'll go over it in a minute because if we win, we're going to end it here. If we lose... Obviously, it's the end of the game for us. So, we could potentially get up. We'll send some guys to the side here. And we'll send our Grenadier and close range combat people like her over here. Keck, do you not have a gun, sir? You should have a gun. Go, go grab a gun. Here, go grab that. We'll let him go grab that gun. Have our people set up. He's not going to really make the difference, so it doesn't matter. It's these guys that will make the difference. Our riflemen. Katten will be throwing grenades like a maniac. I think she can't throw them over these walls, which is uh, kind of sucky, but that's okay. And we've got our guy with the submachine gun here. And Zaneda here. Useless pacifist here. Alright, well, we may as well get into it. Hold your fire, though. We're gonna try it. We can't hit that spot exactly, so I guess we'll try to hit all at once. Good shots on the uh, freaking big mech there. Not very good cover. The range, that's the countdown. So it doesn't seem like they have a range setting, so we can get pretty close up on them here. Yeah, let's do that, and then we'll have him come over here, have her go over here. Heck, how you doing, buddy? Did you get the gun? Pull that gun out. Get your ass over here. All right, Catton, you're in place. It's auto saving too. So what is this? This is a mech node. Okay, so that can give us some, some valuable resources. They shouldn't turn on if we get too close because they only have the countdown activator. So we should be able to toss some grenades over here like that. Toss like two. Can we get another one? Yeah. Oh no, Ken! Get out of there! You got her jaw burned off. Oh god. This dude is barely alive. This guy is surprisingly still alive. All three of you riflemen, shoot that guy. Get up on him. Pull back, cat. If you know what's good for you, get out of there, get out of there. He's on fire. Fire on him. How they just killed that big boy is insane. Boys, we did it. No, Peggy, Peggy, shot through the heart. You're to blame. You gave love a really good name. I can't believe they just fucking blasted Peggy through the fucking heart, man. Jesus Christ! Take him down. 
take him down now. Ken is so upset about that one that she's she's willing to rush and throw her life away. No. No. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Put this fire out, brothers. He's gonna try to make him calm down here. Ken, you need to go deal with your shit and uh, Keck, you're undrafted. Oh no. God damn it. Just take his skull out at least. We're gonna eat him. We have to. So our animals have blue, Peggy died, Novanav is on a drug rampage. Oh my god. We just had a rough day. But thought everyone would die. Okay, get that skull out of him. Kek can't haul. But he did take his food. Can you grab this? Yeah, pick up his gun at least. God damn, I can't believe it. So we're gonna put a memorial site here for him under ideology. I can't believe it, dude. He was, like, actually one of my favorite characters. Peggy. No. We'll build a Peggy monument. That's what it will do. So, anyways, back to what we were doing. <laughs> Here we are. We're still with the same team. We lost Peggy. We've got... This work still has not been done because they are, they are just blasted with work. There's too much work. We're constantly... Dealing with emotional problems, damage done to people's faces like this. Uh, so her jaw is burnt off. The body part is entirely missing, which means that she cannot open her mouth. Which scares me because she's actually a research person. So if she can't open her mouth, she can't communicate to people. But can she, in theory, get prosthetics or her mouth. No, it does not appear like we need to get something way down the line, I think. She can't get anything to help her out here. We have to look. She's going to be able to heal herself up operations. Install a denture jaw. Okay. But this is only dentures. Install sites replaces parts, jaw, and tongue. Okay. So she needs, she needs, yeah, she will die without it, I think. She needs that. So, Fitz, can you go and rest into healed? And then, who's our next best doctor? He is a pretty good doctor. Zaneda has no doctoring skills. Sarah has doctor skills. Okay, so we're gonna have her go grab some. No, just grab some herbal medicine, like four. Good lord, good lord. So, yeah, we're still working on these houses. This has been taking forever. It takes a long time, and we haven't even seen any people. The only people who came died to the mech cluster that occurred, so we lost them immediately. So we're gonna go try to... Yeah, go tend to them. So we have a medical job uh, operation underway, hopefully. Nova Nav here is fine, fuck, fucking finally. Nova Nav has been just like crying about things. I don't know, he, he has a lot of problems. He uses drugs. He's constantly rejected by women. None of our people are in any kind of good friendship. <laughs> like Heck and Nova hate each other. Everyone liked Peggy, I'm pretty sure. Like, pretty much everyone has, like, oh, Novanap doesn't like him. But, like, pretty much everyone else likes likes him. Katniss's mom? How did I not notice? Katniss just lost her son, Peggy. Almost. Oh, no, he's dead for sure. We can't even revive him in any shape or form. It's strange to think that he's dead when he's still up on this little menu here. 
We got to do something about that, though. We got to get get him pulled back to the base and hauled, and cut up. And <laughs> I don't know if Cat should. She won't be alive to eat. She, yeah, she, that makes sense why she got so upset during that whole thing. Um, Sarah, Sari, can you? Cannot install it. Missing two times medicine. We don't have any medicine. Oh God. How how does one produce medicine? How far down down does that go? Xenogenics. If I can get xenogenics, I definitely can get medicine. I just don't know. I've never made it. I never really focus on that stuff. Usually just purchase it from people. Well, the next guy we see will have to purchase. Hopefully we'll get a, a caravan soon. Because I think the medicine is like much further down here. Yeah, medicine production. Right after microelectronics. Patton is our researcher, so... Until that point, she's just going to be laying. I guess we could feed her through a straw. Who knows? But Novanev is hard at work finishing up his human leather armchair. Let's see what kind of cre creation he has. Excellent. Good, excellent, good. What is this? Good, excellent. So this will boost this room up all the way up to slightly impressive. Which is amazing. Actually, no. Yep, it just boosts a little bit, but it's still better than nothing. So, we have to deal with that. It says we should bury him. I think that if we bury him, that we kind of stupid. Let's see. Get a grave site. A, descent, a decent final resting place. Colonists will visit full graves to gain meditative joy. Okay, we'll, we'll, build a, we'll put a grave out in front here for him. How, how's that sound? But we will detach his skull. So, I think someone is grabbing him? Did they grab him? Peggy? Oh no, he's not. Not been grabbed. Let's speed up time. For the next day, we have to we have to do this funeral for him here because I feel like it's only only fair. So the second we wake up, we'll send Novanav over here to grab him. He should be fine actually. Let's let's go grab him now. Call this motherfucker. Very unfortunate that our, our boy Peggy died and Cat and got her jaw blasted off. I don't even know what hit her in the face. I think she got shot in the face by the shotgun. But at the same time got hit by another thing. I don't even Heck you son of a bitch. Heck, what is wrong with you? Novanav started it actually. You piece of shit, man. Can you stop? Dude, we're trying to... Let's let's grab... Him here. Did he just kill him? Oh my god, I thought he killed him. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You son of a bitch. No, but Dad, go fucking dig that hole. I, you're not getting to eat. Yeah, that makes sense that Katten is going to go on a psychite binge. And you bury him. We need a missing pro skull spike precept. So do we need this already kind of installed? You don't get to eat because you just did that. You just punched Kek into oblivion. <laughs> For doing nothing. I don't think I don't think we can technically Can we bury him, please? Like what's the problem? Like what is why don't I get the option? Okay, you can extract his skull. Okay, and now prior prioritize burying him. Please. Thank you. All right, let's slow down. Let's say our final words, Peggy. We love you, Peggy. We're gonna keep your skull in the throne room, so that we'll always be able to look back on the sweet ass times we had to get it. We were gonna get you a sick ass bionic leg, 
begin party, the eulogy party. Oh my god, I couldn't even speak. Eulogy party here. Everyone come over here. Say a final word for our boy Peggy. Peggy down. I was going to tell you guys all about our animals, but I'll tell you about them in a minute. Nova Nav, you get to watch this, even though you're beaten up. Same with Keck. He knocked this shit in, but he's got to come over here and watch this. Just like all of you have to sit here and watch it as well. And Donkey. Donkey. Patton, his own mother. Peggy was one of the originals. You'll never know what it's like to have someone as loyal and as noble as Peggy. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Keck. Keck, I will absolutely... I will fuck you up, Keck. <laughs> Yeah, let's speed up time a little bit. Two hours of fucking eulogy is a long time. At least Catton's mom talked. Terrible eulogy. Are you fucking serious? The 95% chance they had a good one and they got a terrible one. For having to endure it, nobody gave a shit about Peggy. I can't believe it. He died on the 15th of April, May, which is actually very close to the actual real date. And now Novanav is finally completing the structure to Peggy's memorial. And we'll build a statue in his memory as well. Awesome. Skull of Peggy. <laughs> it is very impressive in there now. So we've got... Yes! That's what I want to see. Our male horse getting it on with our sick and dying female horse. Can we... She's not... There's no ability to tend to her for some reason. And now she's pregnant. Hopefully she heals from this because I have no clue what to do. I had sent someone to do it and they, they didn't succeed in doing that. And then fucking basically now they're sick still. And the other one has it as well. Not this one, this one here. But they tended to him. But it seems like this, the flu being tended to doesn't mean anything really. Because this one is still doing decently well. 40%, 45% immunity. They should hopefully survive. And we also have a female cow. Another one that's pregnant. Wait, where? She lost her baby. She lost? No, it's this one. Wait. That's a female. Oh, nice. Wait. Do we have... We've got three total... Wait, we have a lot of cows now. I didn't even realize. So this is the male... This is the bull. This is our female cow. And we have two female cows. As well, baby cows. And then three of these guys and a donkey. I and mean, this freaking rabbit just walked in here. I don't know what for. We have the donkey... We've got all kinds of animals, so if anyone wants to come and buy some animals, we could definitely sell off some of these little animals here. But having multiple female cows is actually really good, because they give us a lot of milk. We have a ton of milk, and we because I put this brilliant scheme together to have space for the roosters on the side, and I'm trying to get them to actually expand this area here so that they stop starving oh my cat man he's going crazy in the back that's why i keep whenever i turn around or it sounds like i'm turning my face it's because my cat is doing something in the background like i have to look at him you can hear me look away but i just want to explain that i feel like people are like why is she get farther away for some reason yes it's my cat's usually drawing my attention away oh i thought that door was gone um but yes they are producing tons of tons of chicken eggs we've got 232 unfertilized chicken eggs that is a lot of chicken eggs and that's because these guys here are perfectly under the amount of chickens allowed you can see that i think we have what probably 16 females and two males in here that's in case i want to drop a male in here and have him go at it with the ladies physically can't do it that many times but he could try if he'd like and all these ladies are willing they get to see him all day long strut his stuff in the side here area here and then when he wants to or when i want him to i'll open this and he can go in i think if i hold it open he should be able to just go through i think i could also put a animal flap as well but 
Rest in peace, R.I.P. Peggy. I will catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.